Lucas Media. So Coach Prime talked about Shador and Travis Hunter going pro after this season. Everybody knows that this Shador is last year and Travis is not staying four years. But Dion has some interesting things to say. He said that they're going to go within the top four. And fit also matters. So if Shador gets drafted by a terrible team, he's not going to play there. And it's the same thing with Travis Hunter. And I see Robert Griffin talk about it and Shannon Sharp on first take today. Where Robert Griffin said that he likes that. And Shannon said he don't agree, but he does feel like those players do have power. Honestly, they're going to play wherever they, they want them, wherever the NFL makes them play. Yes, it happened with Eli. Yes, it happened with John Elway. And to a degree, Michael Crabtree, he held out for his contract, and I think he held out at least five, six games as a wide receiver because he didn't feel like he was getting paid what he should. But those days are, are, are long gone. Yes, some teams are terrible. That's why they picked number one. And I really can't see a team not drafting them. Or to where Shador or Travis will set out a year. It's too much money be on the table. And when you choose to sit out, it resets your time to get your next mega deal. If Shador can stay healthy and be the quarterback that a lot of people think he's going to be, he's going to be making $70 million by the time his second contract is. You got Aaron Rodgers making $60 plus million. It's going to be at least $70 something million. By the time Shador comes up. And Travis Hunter, he's going to probably be at at least 30, 35. So I don't know. I get it. I get what Coach Prime is saying. Just like my Bears, we've been known for being the graveyard of quarterbacks. And even, you know, other organizations like how the, how the Commanders used to be back in the day. Or even if we switched to basketball, how the Clippers used to be before Steve Ballmer bought it. So, I see what Dion is saying. I want them to go for the right fit. But if the, the team goes with that number one overall pick, unless Shador going to go professional in baseball or something, like how John Elway did, where he said, you know what, I'm just going to play for the Yankees. More than likely, they won't have that kind of leverage. But you never know. You know, maybe, I don't know who be number one overall pick, but maybe they trade. They work something out on the back end. But I do feel like because Deion has a great relationship with the league and one of the greatest players to ever play, he'll definitely have a good line of communication. And they could kind of do whatever team drafts him could do like how the Bears are doing. See, we're starting to get different key pieces, all pros, and uh, DeAndre Swift, that running back, and a new, G a new GM over the last couple of years. So organizations can change. You know, it may be a, a terrible team that's number one, but they'll end up doing a quick turnaround. Look at Houston. Remember Houston? Houston was terrible. Now look at them with CJ Stroud. That quick. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about this. Tell me what y'all think.